and we are also joined by Wesley, so the winner of the last game today, tying the final match. Uh, Wesley, you must be feeling very happy right now. Yeah, hi, Kaya. Yeah, I'm very thrilled, obviously, uh, to win on demand with the white pieces. I mean, white pieces is much easier than black, but still, it's a very difficult thing to do. Also, mm. so, so I'm very pleased because uh, I was able to put pressure with the white pieces. And actually, we were following also this line. This also from my from my chessable course in the last game. Yes, uh, we were so excited to see that you brought your uh, op uh, opening preparations and and uh, stuff that you have done in those chessable uh, videos. Now, didn't you think that Magnus maybe would have looked at that? Uh, no, I, I don't think so because uh, I guess my chessable course is mostly geared towards. Uh, lower rated players because there's a lot uh, a large public out there uh i don't expect world champions to be uh, lo looking at my chess ball courses <laughs> and it seems like magnus hasn't but maybe now he will so uh, also in the very first uh game of this tournament the preliminaries i also played my chess ball course op opening against him and also won the games against Taymor. it was all for my chess ball so it seems they're not aware so i better take advantage because it could get outdated quickly. <laughs> All right, Wesley. Well, it's been a very exciting day of chess. I mean, especially that second game was amazing. But how disappointed were you after that crazy opening uh, to, yeah. to make a blunder then, I guess? Yeah, that was really unfortunate. Uh, really, really, really bad. Because, yeah, apparently I haven't analyzed Queen takes D4, move 21. Because obviously the engine gives it takes B5 as the only move, and then it's point zero zero. But uh, the thing is, you only check what the engine gives. And so queen takes D4 is actually losing by force, but at the same time, I didn't know how to react. And during the game, I was confused as to what was happening. I thought I mixed up already some, some move order, because this opening is, is highly complicated. I mean, white is not better, but it's just very unclear. And on move 18, Queen C3 is actually very important uh, because C5 is inaccurate because of Bishop C7. So there are some move order subtleties, which uh, could be quite tricky. So I wasn't sure exactly. I knew this was my analysis, but I couldn't remember anything after Queen takes D4. And so I was hesitating whether I'm still following my opening or whether I'm already mixed up something. But um, yeah, it's unfortunate because Bishop C4 on move 22 should probably just win the game. Um, Black has a piece in return for two pawns, but his problem is his minor pieces are very badly placed and all his pieces are are on in bad positions and the knight is pinned. So yeah, it's, it's a waste of uh, good opening material, mm. but uh, it happens. Well, uh, and Wesley, after this loss, uh, you played a draw, but it was a must win situation for you then in that last game and what sort of mental exercises or, or how did you get yourself ready for that game coming back so strong with that win you really needed? Well, I just played my chessable course. <laughs> <laughs> did you? <laughs> yeah, now in the last game, I also played the chessable course. I had it analyzed until move 20. Actually, I just checked after the game uh, on the course, I recommended rook AB1 instead of C4. But C4 looks very testing also because black only has one way to equalize, which is not so easy to find. And so, um, so Wesley. So yeah, I felt. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, carry on. <laughs> yeah, so I felt like uh, I should just stick to my course because, uh, um, as Bot Minix said, if you if you can recommend something, you should have the courage to play it. But didn't expect this to work that well. Mm. And if some of the viewers uh, attempted to go and buy your chessboard course after seeing such success against the world champion, what would you say to them? What should they expect from that course? Yeah, yeah. Well, first thing for uh, porting, well, you can try it. I mean, you can. You have a 30-day money-back guarantee. That's the good thing about <laughs> Yeah, Very good, yeah. You can always try it. And if it's crap, you can return it. But uh, <laughs> but I, I spent uh, uh, almost uh, um, a month or two working on this course. So uh, the lines are very well researched. And also, um, my course is called Lifetime Repertor. So I try to make the lines very stable. And uh, with a few updates, it could very well last an entire lifetime. But um, yeah, I'm happy that it worked so far uh, in this tournament. But at the same time, to those viewers who are just learning chess, well, 
Uh, openings are, are just one thing. I mean, it's good to have a stable opening repertoire for, for both colors. But uh, at the same time, you also need to be good at other things, such as the middle game or, yeah. or tactics. Well, Wesley, then, on day two, you are tied in the match. Should we expect you to keep bringing this opening, or will you have something other in store for us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it depends if Magnus is going to go skiing or if he's going to look at my chess ball course. <laughs> ah, <laughs> very good. Well, uh, Wesley, we're so excited for tomorrow. Hope you are as well. Good luck. Yeah, yeah thank you. Yeah, thanks. Uh, hopefully, I can put up a good fight tomorrow.